East London, Saturday morning. More than 900 officers of the Met and the British Transport Police are getting ready for England's fiercest football derby, West Ham versus Millwall. Over the last 20 years, the derby has been the backdrop not only to pitch invasions, large-scale brawls and armed battles between rival hooligans, but also the murder of a supporter who got thrown in front of an underground train at Embankment Station. Good morning, everybody. If anybody doesn't know me, Superintendent Andy Ball, I'm with Bronze 3, and uh, BTP Silver for this operation today, which is the West Ham Millwall Category C or Category C Plus football match is being played today. The cops classify football games, fans in three categories. Category A supporters are peaceful fans like families. Category B are fans who have a potential to be violent. And finally, Category C, extremely violent football hooligans. Disorder has arisen previously at this, at this particular match. One thing you need to be aware of at the last game, anybody that was involved at Canning Town, weapons were found, um, ammonia bottles, uh, Jif lemons with ammonia in, Knives and other weapons were found, so just remember that. Most grounds are well policed and safe, but sometimes violence breaks out on the way to the game or at train stations. To keep ahead and maintain law and order, undercover cops are on the lookout for large numbers of fans and Category C fans in stations across London. And a spotter has just seen a crowd of 200 Millwall fans gathering outside Charing Cross Station. It's not an arranged fight, but 50 cops instantly surround the fans before they even get a chance to realise what's going on. What they've done is they've, they've managed to corral about 200 now. Uh, we're getting a, a train, uh, an empty train. It'll be brought into Westminster Tube Station and they're going to put the Millwall fans on the train and escort them all the way up to West Ham, to Upton Park take them from the stadium, from the station to the stadium. Upton Park and the Millwall fans have arrived without trouble. Everything seems to be going well. But West Ham fans get the first sight of them. Agro could be on the cards. But police immediately step into action and manage to separate the two rival groups of supporters. Everyone is moved into the ground without any major disorder. Well, there's a long history of violence involving West Ham and Millwall, um, and it's one of the few fixtures in recent years where people have been killed, um, somebody thrown in onto the track on a tube station, etc. So you can you can imagine the risks and why the reasons why there's so many policemen and such a big operation. It's the end of the match. Job done for the players and ground staff, but for the cops, there's still plenty to do. It was one all, so uh, there's no major issues with who won, who lost, etc. Now we're in the return, the second phase of the operation. The fans, as you can see, are, are streaming back now. It's often the hour post-match that the police find most challenging. With thousands of supporters heading for the tube, tempers can fray and lead to violence. To avoid any trouble, police have been keeping the Millwall fans back at the ground and are only now starting to escort them back to the station. Uh, and the atmosphere on the street has, has gone, it's like the calm before the storm. Everybody's uh, talking's gone down to murmuring. You can almost feel the tension in the air. Um, it will probably get a bit more intense as the fans get a bit closer. This is that, that sort of quiet time that soldiers talk about while they're sitting in the trenches waiting for the whistle. The fans emerge and seem in a good mood. A case of sing even when you draw. It's just a culture uh, that's developed over the years. And if it was just a trend or a pattern, you can deal with it. But a culture is a bit deep-seated. And no matter what the police do, we can make great inroads into it, but we can never just find that final thing to knock it on the head to, you know, all together. Today, the police operation was a total success. It prevented any outburst of violence, and for the first time in years, no arrests were made.